Warning, this video may contain foul language, discussion of sex, prostitutes, and other adult topics that might make some people squeamish. If you can't handle this, leave now, but don't bitch to me. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Scott and I'm an American in Bangkok. Today, I'm going to compare Thailand with the Philippines as an expat destination. Uh, in a previous post, you might remember I compared expat life in Cambodia with Thailand uh, and the Philippines is a decent alternative expat destination. However, let's break it down. Uh, the cost of living. Uh, Thailand is cheaper to live than many countries, but it's no longer a cheap place to live. Uh, I've been saying that for years, and, and I believe it. There's a lot of stuff here that's more expensive than in the West, and while there are some cheap things, uh, more and more people are starting to, to see that the prices are rising here in Thailand. Uh, gone are the days of uh, 5 baht pad thai, 20 baht fried rice, and uh, barbecue chickens for 80 baht. Uh, now, the cost of living in the Philippines is approximately 18% lower than Thailand. Rent in Thailand is a whopping 40% higher. Grocery prices in Thailand are 21.87% higher. And transportation is uh, slightly higher. Restaurant prices in Thailand are slightly lower. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, also, if you're looking for stable internet, uh, you know, Thailand is, is uh, definitely a better, better option than the Philippines. Uh, however, okay, now we'll get to a, a, another category, which is food. Thai cuisine is among the best in the world, and the Filipino cuisine just cannot compare. Uh, a lot of it is fatty, greasy, not all of it, and there are some things I like, however, there's no way that the Philippines comes anywhere close to uh, to Thai food. There's just there's just no way. I mean, uh, Thai food is among the the finest in the world, and Filipino uh, food is uh, quite a few notches below it. So I give the advantage to uh, Thailand. Cost of living advantage goes to the Philippines. Now, the people. I, I always hate to compare people because you're stereotyping, you are generalizing. Uh, Thai people and the Filipino people are known for their uh, friendly nature, their outgoing, uh, well, Filipinos are rather outgoing, Thais are less so, uh, but uh, Thais in the uh, tourist areas have a less than stellar reputation. They don't have a, a great reputation. Uh, however, uh, Filipinos tend to be a little more aggressive than Thais. Tends, Thais tend to be very laid back. And in general, if you don't mess with the Thais, they don't mess with you. And the Philippines, eh, you know, that's kind of the case. But if you do something a little bit that, it, you know, you, maybe you shouldn't be doing, uh, the Filipinos seem to be quite a bit more aggressive in rectifying whatever problem or situation it is. Uh, so with the people, I'm going to say it's it's even. I'm, I kind of lean towards the ties. Uh, but, you know, again, this is, this is coming from somebody who's lived in Thailand for many, many years. I've stayed in the Philippines many times, uh, sometimes for a couple of weeks at a time. However, I've never lived there. So... I do have uh, a little bit of favoritism for, for Thailand. I do show a little favoritism, I guess. But uh, anyway, let's get to the next category, which is women. Since the majority of my viewers are men, uh, I'm covering the topic of women. I'm not going to talk about men or lady boys or any of that other junk. Uh, so now, you know... I, this is another area. It's 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 always a matter of preference, but uh, I I personally give Thailand a slight edge, and I'll I'll tell you why. Uh, Filipinos they they are very aggressive. Uh, 
well, expressive, excuse me, I didn't mean to say ag aggressive. Filipino women are expressive, outgoing, uh, rather jealous, just like Thais, passionate, and by most accounts, they make very, very good wives. Uh, they love to talk, and they love romance. Uh, but one huge negative that I have never been able to let go of is that they are also very clingy. They like to be everywhere with you. And sometimes i got to have my own space, you know. Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, the, the Thai women are much more laid back, generally. Uh, but, that said, listen, Filipino women speak English. So, for guys just going somewhere for a short period of time and they want to try to hook up with some woman that they can maybe get something going long term, then the Filipino women might be their best option. Like I said, I give a slight edge to Thailand. Now, medical care. Uh, in both countries, the medical care is uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, uh, you can't go wrong in either country. However, uh, I would say that Thailand has the uh, better facilities. There are more hospitals and clinics in the Philippines, but like I said, I think the quality of the hospitals uh, and of the doctors is slightly better in Thailand. Now, if there's anybody uh, who, ha who knows about this who is a medical professional, I'd love to hear about that. I'd love, I'd love to hear what medical professionals feel about this, but I think that Thailand, as a growing uh, medical tourism destination, uh, basically has a slight edge over the Philippines. Language, 56% of Filipinos speak English compared to 26% of Thais. Uh, Philippines smokes Thailand in this department. There's, there's absolutely no, no contest because uh, Filipinos speak English far better then even, even Thais who do speak uh, English, the Filipinos, they, they speak the language quite a bit better. Uh, I already mentioned the Internet. Uh, while the Internet system in Thailand lags behind uh, many first world countries, uh, the Internet here is relatively inexpensive, it's stable, uh, and you get a decent speed. You don't get a fantastic speed, it's not screaming, but you get a decent speed. And in the Philippines, you don't. You might even pay more money, and you get worse, the speed is lower, and then there's those pesky little brownouts that happen, and that makes being on the internet uh, frustrating at times and a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, visas, so I give the edge to Thailand, obviously. Uh, visas. I'm going to give the edge to the Philippines, and I'll tell you why. Uh, it's much easier to get a, a tourist visa where you can stay for nearly a year and a half. You can stay for 16 months in the Philippines quite easily, with including the extensions. Uh, in Thailand, it's getting more and more difficult to get uh, triple entry visas, which allows for nine months, and you have to go out of the country every three months, uh, which you don't have to do that in the Philippines. And also, uh, you know, the thing is, is that if you're married to a Thai, you need uh, to show income in the amount of 40,000 baht per month or 400,000 baht as a lump sum or a combination of the two, depending on the location of the embassy. Uh, and in the Philippines, you just basically need to have your marriage certificate and you need to be able to show that you can provide support. I think the number is around $1,000 a month, uh, but t the Philippines has the advantage in this area. Now, uh, in the final two categories, safety. The Philippines is a struggling third world country. Uh, Thailand uh, it has rapidly grown in the past, say, 20 or 30 years. And in the Philippines, you know, there are people that are desperate to survive. They're desperate to, to uh, they're, they're struggling to, to find their next meal. In Thailand, not so much. And anytime you get very poor people, uh, there is always the chance that crime is going to be... Uh, 
the crime is going to be higher in that that area. So, uh, you know, I have to say that in both countries, most people, they have a peaceful existence. They don't have many problems. But when it comes to, like, Manila, I wouldn't, certain parts of Manila, I don't want to walk at, say, 3 o'clock in the morning or even 11 o'clock at night. Uh, in Bangkok, you can walk just about anywhere and you don't have any problems. So, uh, you know, of course, there are exceptions, but I think that Thailand overall, uh, also because of their laid-back nature, is a safer place to live. You don't mess with the Thais, they don't mess with you. Uh, now, transportation and traffic is the last uh, category. And, you know, Thailand's transportation system is, is excellent. You got sky trains, subways, you got boat taxis, regular uh, automobile taxis. You got uh, cheap domestic flights. You've got uh, song towels. You've got all sorts of ways to get around and for really a, a reasonable prices. Uh, you can get just about anywhere on trains and buses throughout the country if you don't want to fly. And I, I think that Thailand is a cut above the Philippines in this area. Uh, now, traffic is terrible in both countries. However, uh, I think that because of the overall efficiency of the Thai transportation system, I have to give the advantage to Thailand. So, you know, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. I mean, don't get upset about it if you love the Philippines. Uh, I understand that it's it's really, it's, it's a matter of preference. But what I would suggest is you spend some time in both countries, and I don't mean just a, a couple of days. Spend a couple of weeks, a couple of months if you can, in each country. Travel around the country and see which one you get a better feel for. Uh, I, like I said, I've been to both. I've been in Thailand for a long time, but when I, before I moved here, I traveled around quite a bit, and the Philippines, and, you know, I, I spent time just checking things out and seeing, oh, what do I like about this place? What do I like about that place? And then before you know it, you, maybe you get a better feel and you say, you know what, this is the place for me. So for some, the Philippines might be the place. Uh, for me, it doesn't compare with Thailand. Uh, now, one thing that I'm thinking of doing in, uh, is comparing Cambodia with the Philippines, because I think that is a much closer comparison uh, than, say, Thailand and Cambodia or Thailand and the Philippines. I think the Philippines is close to, to uh, Thailand in many ways. There are some great things, but there are some great things about Cambodia. So I'm going to take a little bit closer look at it, and then that will come in another video. Uh, but for now, I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. Chok di la jerk and mai.